Hi everyone! In today's tutorial we'll be making a vintage inspired Mother's Day card. For this project you'll need a reasonably good quality watercolor paper. I'm using Canson 300 grams. Cut the paper to be 5 by 7 inches and tape the sides with masking tape. This is done so the paper doesn't warp too much. Before painting, soak the paper with water. I'm using my 2 inch brush for that. As for the paints, you can use any watercolors you have. If you're using student grade watercolor paints, you'll probably need to add more layers of paint because they're not as pigmented as the professional ones. To paint the light yellow background, I'm mixing different yellows I have in my palette, but mostly cadmium yellow and yellow ochre. I'm also going to add a little bit of cobalt blue in the center of the card. Take your green, I'm using mostly sap green, and paint the stems and the bottom leaves. I'm applying paint to dry surface, also known as wet and dry, with a round synthetic brush size number 4. I think a bigger brush would have worked even better for this technique but this is the one I decided to use. The leaves are not supposed to be perfect, so don't worry too much about them. Paint them as you can. I'm outlining the leaves and then filling them with color. As for the other leaves, I'm using a light green wash to sketch them lightly. I'm introducing a darker pigment to fill them with paint. Again, I'm using mostly sap green. I'm dropping cadmium yellow to the center of each leaf and letting the color spread and mix with the green. To create variety and interest in the composition, I'm drawing little lines and circles to mimic foliage, as well as ribs, veins, and shadows of dark green. While the card is drying, let's create the flowers. Take another piece of watercolor paper and soak it with water. I'm mixing ultramarine and cobalt blue, and I'm going to paint about half of the paper. And I'm doing two layers of paint. I'm also painting a block of yellow ochre color and thinning it out to the lighter shade, as you can see in the video. To create the flowers, we'll need a one hole punch, also one inch flower punch, a hot glue gun, you also need some soft surface to form the flowers. I'm going to use my foam board that I usually use for my needle felting. And an eraser on 2HB pencil. Preferably a used one so the eraser has a rounded tip. 
I'm going to use the flip side of the punch when creating flowers so I can see which area of the paper I'm using. Punch as many flowers as you will like, but I'm going to create 15 shapes. To create the flower centers, use the one hole punch. Doesn't it look like I'm creating confetti? I think it does. Forming the flowers is a pretty simple process. Place it face up on the foam board. Take your pencil's eraser and press it firmly on each petal and then in the center of the flower. My flowers are still somewhat moist from the watercolor, but if yours are not, I would suggest to spray them lightly with water. This will make them moldable. That's it. Now repeat 15 times. Here I'm gluing each yellow center to the flower with my hot glue gun. I'm using my fingers to pick up the centers, but I think using tweezers would simplify that process. So you can try that when you do it. I'm going to arrange the flowers on the cardboard before gluing them. Play around with them, see which position you like the best. It's even okay to use just some of the flowers, not all of them. In my case, I had extra flowers that I didn't use in the final composition. Once I like the position of the flowers, I'm gluing them to the card. To create the note card, cut out a rectangle from the light yellow paper and then cut out the triangle on one side to form a shape of a flag banner. I'm using my gold pen to write the message on the card to fancy it up. And yes, don't forget to glue the note to the card so it doesn't fall off. I also decided to add a bow made of burlap string to complete my floral arrangement. Our card is done! I really enjoyed making this Mother's Day card with you and hope you enjoy making it as well. Do let me know if you make one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!